What's up guys, this is Kim from Einfach Machen. In this video I'd like to share with you how you can send PDFs, photos and other types of files from your Power App via email. So stay tuned. So we often have the requirement from our customers that when the field service fills out a form and attaches files to this form that some files need to be sent as a copy via email. And this is where this use case basically came from. So I've got here my uh, Christmas wish center and the different doors I can open. So today is the 23rd of December. Let's have a look on where it is. There it is. And after I click on this button, there's a short form and I can type in an email address. I will choose my email address in this case and just send me a Christmas wish. And now I can attach files and I've got different files of Christmas wishes here. I've got a photo and a PDF and I've got also an MP4 file. I will attach this too. And now I can send my wishes and the form gets submitted. And additionally, after that, an email gets sent to this email address with the attachments. And as you can see, this is what my email looks like. This was our send it to Kombuska and this is the body. And there are also the different attachment. There's a video, there's a PDF, and there's also a picture of my lovely Christmas card. So what we need to do to achieve this is quite simple. Let's have a look on this button. There are basically two steps. The first step to send the email and include the attachment is using the Office 365 Outlook connector. And it's quite straightforward we're just using different controls from our form to define the to, the subject and the body parameter. And after that, we've got these attachment parameter and that's actually a table. And all we need to do is put this for all around our attachment controls. This is our attachment control here. And as you can see, if I select this formula, there are three attachments, the MP4 file, the PDF file and the PNG file. And there are all also the names and the content bytes. And it's quite important that you keep this format using content bytes and name. And that's it basically. And the second step is just submitting the form to, for example, our SharePoint list. And that's a quite easy way to send files via email, a requirement we often get from our customers. So hopefully this one is helpful for you. I wish you Merry Christmas and have a happy new year and see you next time.